Tonga is a kingdom in the middle of the South Pacific, somewhere between Samoa and Fiji. Most people have never heard of it. They might just assume it's somewhere in Africa, not good for tourism. Our task, find a way to make the world notice a country they've never heard of with a minimal budget. Our solution, Tonga would become the first South Sea state ever to participate at the Olympics. The Winter Olympics, of course. Good morning, good morning, my beautiful Tonga. This morning we'll be talking about that uh, winter sport. And there is a move here in the kingdom to select a candidate to represent uh, the kingdom in the winter sport. Exceptional athletes were quickly found, but there was one with a unique and phenomenal talent for the luge. All this extraordinary project needed was the financial support of a co-sponsor, someone crazy enough to try something different, something not for everybody. But there was one problem. Only major sponsors are allowed to advertise at the Olympics. Any others risk being sued by the IOC, unless the athlete just happens to have exactly the same name as the brand sponsoring him. Track is clear for Bruno Bonanni. After the legal change of name and four years of intensive training, the Tongan athlete qualified for the 2014 Olympic Winter Games in Sochi. Billions of viewers watched as Bruno Bonanni entered the Olympic Stadium during the opening ceremony. Thousands of print and online articles were published. Hundreds of TV reports were broadcast around the world. Bruno Bonani is one of the few athletes in the official Olympic film and was immortalized in the Olympic Museum in Lausanne. Now the world knows Tonga and Bruno Bonani. Not for everybody.